Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to cover the ultimate guide to raising startup capital. And this is a video series, part one of the presentation, which has over 100 pages. If you watch my previous videos, you know that you can click my Fiverr link below to get information on investor databases for venture capital, private equity, and angel investors. My databases include the USA, Canada, UK and Europe, the Middle East, China, Asia Pacific, and more. And my database includes multiple sectors in investment preference, such as tech, blockchain, healthcare, fintech, e-commerce, but the main focus is on early stage seed investors. I also provide a pitch deck review service. If you're looking to send your pitch deck out to investors, I offer a service on Fiverr where I will review it to make sure it is investor ready. So what does this guide include? The ultimate guide to raising startup capital contains over 100 pages of tips on how to raise investment funds from angel investors and venture capital investors. Who is this guide suited for? The ultimate guide to raising capital is suited for startups looking to raise funds for their company. It is also suitable to help startups navigate through the fundraising process. What does this video contain? This video contains section one of 29 on how to raise startup capital. So let's take a look at the ultimate guide to raising startup capital. So in this video on the ultimate guide to raising startup capital, we're going to cover off how to raise startup capital. If you would like to purchase the entire 100 page presentation, contact me via my Fiverr link in the description below. How to raise startup capital. Here's a step by step guide on how to approach angel investors for startup funding with more detailed explanations. Number one, prepare a compelling pitch. Before approaching an angel investor, it is important to have a clear and compelling pitch that highlights the key aspects of your business. This should include information about your product or service, your target market, revenue projections, and the unique value proposition of your company. This is your chance to showcase the potential of your business and persuade the investors to invest. Some key elements to include in your pitch are an overview of your company, including its mission, vision, and values, a description of your product or service, including its features, benefits, and how it solves a problem for your target market, and information about your target market, including the size, demographics, and purchasing habits. It should also include revenue projections and financials, including how you plan to generate revenue and how much you plan to raise in funding. It should also include a description of your team and their relevant experience. And in my opinion, it's best to just keep it to the two most important. Uh, do not include any more than that. Uh, and it should include a summary of your traction to date, such as customers, partnerships, or awards. Research potential investors. Not all investors are the same, and it's important to find ones that are a good fit for your business. Look at investors who have experience in your industry and a track record of successful investments. You can research potential investors by searching online for angel investors in your industry or geographic area, checking out the portfolios of angel investment groups to see which companies they have invested in, asking other entrepreneurs and venture capitalists for recommendations, attending network events and startup communities, and meeting potential investors in person, purchasing databases of known angel investors from credible sources. Uh, and if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I have a large amount of venture capital and angel investor databases. Number three, build a relationship. Angel investors are more likely to invest in a company they know and trust, attend networking events, join startup communities, and reach out to potential investors through LinkedIn or email to start building relationships. Tips for building a relationship. Be genuine, honest, and passionate about your business. Be respectful of their time and don't be pushy. Offer to share updates on your business or to answer any questions that they may have. Show them that you are different from your competitors. Remember that a lot of angel investors and venture capital investors are going to receive hundreds of presentations in a given month. Create a business plan and financial projections. Angel investors will want to see a detailed business plan and financial projections that demonstrate the 
potential of your business and make sure it is clear concise and realistic and I will get into more detail on business plans financial projections and pitch decks later on in this series uh, some key items in your business plan include executive summary which is a brief overview of the company and the goals industry analysis a description of the industry in which your company operates including market size growth prospects and major players market analysis a description of your target market including the size demographics and purchasing habits a competitive analysis a comparison of your com company to its main competitors including their strengths and weaknesses product or service a description of your product or service including its features benefits and how it solves the problem for your target market a sales and marketing strategy a description of how you plan to generate revenue and acquire customers the management team a description of your management team and the relevant experience financial projections projections of your company's financial performance including revenue expenses and cash flow and make a formal pitch once you've built a relationship with an angel investor and have a solid business plan it's time to make a formal pitch be prepared to answer any questions the investor may have and be open to feedback so tips on making a formal pitch be confident and passionate about your business be well prepared and have all the necessary documents and information on hand highlight new and key information such as your unique value proposition your target market and your financial projections be honest about any risks or challenges that your company may face be open to answering questions and answering any concerns that the investor may have be prepared to discuss the terms of the investment including the amount of funding the ownership stake and the terms of repayment six negotiate the terms if an angel investor is interested in investing in your business you'll need to negotiate the terms of the investment this includes the amount of funding ownership stake and the terms of repayment and I'll get into a little bit more information further on in the series about the types of agreements uh, that you can enter into with an angel investor tips for negotiating items be realistic about the amount of funding you are looking for and the ownership stake you are willing to give up uh, I get a lot of clients contact me on Fiverr sending me their pitch decks and sometimes the amount of funding they are looking for is outrageous um, looking for five hundred thousand or a million dollars when you haven't made any revenue is not a good strategy and we'll get into that a bit later be transparent about the terms of repayment including expected return on investment and the timeline for repayment be prepared to compromise and be open to feedback and suggestions remember if you're pitching to an angel investor or a venture capital investor they have seen hundreds of potential investment opportunities and they may have invested in hundreds themselves they are going to know a lot more about the process and what will work than you will you will know a lot about your company the market all that sort of stuff but they will know how to get deals done number seven close the deal once the terms have been agreed on it's time to close the deal make sure you have all the necessary legal documents in place and get the investment funds transferred tips on closing the deal review and sign all legal documents including investment agreements and any securities documents and make sure all parties understand the terms of the investment and any contingencies obtain the investment funds and keep accurate records of all transactions it's important to remember that this process can take time and may not result in a successful investment however by following these steps and being prepared you increase your chances of success and can make the fundraising process go as smoothly as possible the angel investment process involves the screening of the pitch deck basic due diligence which is generally done over the telephone or via other electronic means the pitch session that you will do to the potential investor or their team a term sheet signing uh, sometimes it's not a formal signing sometimes it's a letter of intent uh, which will then lead to more detailed due diligence uh, which typically gets into financials and any other liabilities that the company may have and then of course the final part is entering into a shareholders agreement So that closes off this section. 
I, uh, in the next video, I will cover potential costs required to start a fundraising campaign. Please click my Fiverr link below for more information on my investor databases and the services that I provide for people who are looking to source capital. Thank you for watching.